Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel, Life is Danny. I'm super excited to have you here today. Hopefully you decide to stick around and subscribe. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing a August favorites. I have never, yeah, I've never done a favorites video. Um, so here we go. Here's my first time um, doing this and attempting at it i have one food item and one book and the rest is just makeup as september goes if i'm loving anything like other than makeup wise i will try my hardest to jot it down so i can do another one of these videos but let's just go ahead and get right into the video for you non-book lovers i'm going to quickly um just kind of talk about this book um i don't like spoilers so i'm gonna try my hardest not to spoil the book for those of you who enjoy books haven't read this and might seem interested so this is about katie and her her and her mother were supposed to go on a trip to italy um positano to be exact and unfortunately her mom doesn't make the trip with her and kind of like she starts she meets this person that reminds her so much of her mom and she's just like dumbfounded like what is going on and um the storyline is really good it's really intriguing and she kind of is like in this marriage where she got married really young and she is trying to figure out if she's even into this marriage anymore if she wants to divorce what have you and the story is just a very good story and i actually cried at the end it, uh, katie katie's husband his name is adam um he let her go on this trip alone because that's what she wanted but at the end he comes to positano and surprises her so it's a very good story and I recommend you guys read it. It's also a very good summer read. I know we're getting into fall now, but the vibes are here and I really, really loved this book. And must I say that because of this book, I really want to go to Positano and I'm going to have to make that happen. Hopefully I can go to Italy next summer. That's kind of pushing it, but if anything, in two summers, I'm going to Italy, so love this book um next we can get into some makeup items but i do have a sunscreen that i've been obsessed with in in the month of august i used it every single day this is the curology sunscreen here it is i don't know what it is about it i just really enjoyed it it is white but it doesn't leave a white cast on my face and right after i apply it i get to doing my makeup um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed it and I love the packaging like I love these little um, Squeezy tube bottles and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing another one once this one is all done Now we can get into like actual makeup. So this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer now I just got this very recently. So um, when I put it into my August shot my stash that was my very first time trying it so I really enjoy it it does a good job at making your makeup last and stay in place it is actually a little bit cooling on the skin and it just feels really nice and definitely will be repurchasing her once she's all done I'm sure it'll take a while but love it next let's switch it up and let's do some lip products this is the summer fridays lip butter balm in vanilla beige here's what it looks like i really enjoy the size of this tube i mean it's probably going to take me forever to finish but i really just love this product it feels so nice hydrating the scent is really amazing i don't really want to say taste because i don't eat it but i mean you know you could taste a little bit when it's on your lips anyways it's amazing and it's going to be perfect for the fall season so love it some more lip products i have the rare beauty lip liner and the matte lipstick 
and they're both in the color talented they are so soft on the lips it doesn't even feel like you have anything on the lip liner is really smooth too i'm gonna put it right here so i could show you guys it's just so smooth it applies like butter and i really like the packaging to her lipstick so you just push it and then it comes out it's a gorgeous color and it's going to be perfect for fall so yeah i've been really loving this lip combo lately now i'm going to switch it up and jump into the food item that i have so oops this is an acai bowl from walmart now i've been eating these like crazy non-stop um i'm not too sure on the price but i could check these retail for four dollars and 19 cents so i mean if you get a large quantity it could become very expensive but i like to just buy three four just for the week and i kind of eat them like as a treat not really for like breakfast lunch or dinner i just when i'm craving something sweet or i just need something to cool down then i grab these to munch on them and they're high in antioxidants so you know it's just they're just so good and then in here you have oats so you open the bowl and then you pour the oats i like to add um frozen fruit i like to add coconut flakes um honey um, i do chia seeds so i just like to add my own um costco and sam's club has the same kind of thing but they're they're all very different in their own way but the walmart one is currently my favorite and i'm gonna eat it right after this video moving on i have the elf halo glow liquid filter and i got two shades so the darker one here is shade five medium tan and then the lighter one is shade three light medium for my august shot my stash i pulled the darker one and it kind of just gives you like a really bronze look and it doesn't to me it doesn't really matter like that this doesn't even match my skin because i just put my foundation on top and like i said it just gives me like a really nice bronze glowy look and that's kind of just what i did and i am fully in love with these and girl they're 10 out of 10 worth it i'm gonna go ahead and show you if you haven't seen it but i'm pretty sure you have because it's been all over the internet definitely went viral broke the internet and it's all over the beauty community so i definitely recommend if you can get your hands on them definitely definitely buy it and try it out and i'm pretty sure you'll love it i got me my chai ice with brown sugar syrup and pumpkin cold foam the best we are almost done we have a few items left so moving on this next product is a foundation and i rediscovered it in my collection and that's kind of the whole point of these shop my stash projects um you just pull in items that you haven't used in a while you get use out of all the items in your collection and you kind of just rotate all your makeup so anyways i don't think i realized how good this foundation was when i first got it i mean if i did realize how good it was then i would have used it more but i don't know what happened there i mean i buy foundations like crazy so that's probably why i kind of forgot about it but this is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation and it is so perfect for the summertime i mean it feels like there was nothing on my skin super lightweight super hydrating and the coverage on this foundation is so beautiful and i unofficially added her into my project pan so as you can see here i have two markings the one that's higher um i just kind of guesstimated where i was on this product but the marking that's lower is the actual correct marking as to where i am so i have a little bit less than half yeah i have a little bit less than half um product in here and she would definitely be used up i want to say um i want to give myself six months maybe 
eight months or maybe even a little bit under six months i don't really know i've never done a project pan before but i would love to finish this and get a brand new one um but yeah it is a really good foundation i am in the shade medium 80w by the way here i have the nyx the brow glue and at first i was kind of like and eh, it's okay but it does the job it does a really good job actually at just laying my brows down and it's not super super tacky and glue like i mean like i said it does the job but yeah i've been really enjoying this and the little wand is so cute and it really just allows you to get in there and really comb your brows and make them stay so i've been really enjoying this i had to pause for a moment but we are back and my last makeup item that I have here is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. And I am in the shade of Vanilla Wafer. Here's what it looks like. This concealer is super airy on the skin. Very easy to blend. And the shade that I got, it might be the lightest one. I can't remember. But it highlights my under eyes so well. And also on the bridge of my nose. And wherever I just want my face to look highlighted, it really does the job. I 10 out of 10 recommend this concealer for dry skin. And also the coverage on this is like chest kiss and i'm just gonna quickly show you what the wand looks like i'm down to my <laughs> that was kind of cheesy but i had to do it i'm down to my last item and it's the sol de janeiro beige floor body cream and i didn't want to have to say this but i think it needs to be said this definitely smells better than their original one. They have this one and I believe the yellow looking one. It's somewhere in my car. I have a little like mini size of it. But this definitely beats all the scents that they created. If you have something to say in the comments, go ahead and let me know. I mean, we all are entitled to our own opinions and we obviously have different noses but in my opinion this one is the best smelling one and i definitely have to get the bigger size but after i finish this no brush so yeah in my opinion i feel like this is the best smelling one and i'm just gonna leave it at that and we are officially done with this August favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't already to join my pink girly fam. You guys are always welcome to leave video requests down below. I would love to film some videos that my subscribers would like to see. And yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you lovelies in my next one. Bye.